the state of the business. What percentage of the people who have bought new vehicles in this country in the year 2022 have paid over MSRP? Right now? We have January to May 3rd, 2nd, whatever, whatever it is. I'd say probably 70%. Mike? I'd say Cooper. probably pretty damn high. 82% of people who have bought new vehicles this year have paid over MSRP. Now, where does this data come from? It doesn't come from me. It doesn't come from the manufacturers. It comes from two websites that are both consumer-driven. iccars.com, which is a website that teaches people how to buy cars. Um, it's a website that it's, that's been teaching people for some time how to, you know, how to get us. So they are the consumer's friend. Make no mistake about that. And they got their data from Edmunds.com, which is another consumer-facing website. I mean, consumers go to Edmunds.com to do research on vehicles, research on pricing, research on product. So both of these websites are stating in black and white that 82% of the people buying new vehicles are paying over MSRP, which puts you guys in a terrific position if you can prove it to them. And you will be able to prove it after about 15 or 20 minutes from now. Um, now, how much over MSRP are they paying on average? Any guesses? Seven thousand. A little high. Two to three grand. Nine thousand. Thirty-seven fifty-three. But the operative term here is the percentage that they're paying over. The per average percent that people are paying over is nine point nine. So let's let's round it up to ten percent. So if I buy a Denali here, seventy grand. If I buy a Tahoe or Suburban and I pay 70 grand for it, average markup on that vehicle is $7,000 over MSRP. So, could I make a case to a consumer who's bitching about paying 70 grand because it's MSRP that we're actually discounting it? Seven grand off the market based price. The answer is we absolutely can. And we will learn how to do that today. Mm -hmm.